not. Um, I don't know if there's anyone specifically that inspired me to um, pursue a career in performing arts, but um, basically I knew I wanted to be in this profession from quite a young age. I always wanted to be a teacher, that was my main aim. I wanted to be a teacher from, I think it was from reception. So at home I'd have like all my dolls and tennis and I'd be physically doing, I'd write a register and be marking everyone present and stuff. So I always wanted to be a teacher. I think when I went to secondary school, so when I was in year seven, I then realised I wanted to be a drama teacher. Um, and I always did the school plays. Um, and then I then, when I left school, I went to university. Um, and then I, again, I wanted to be a teacher. Um, and then I was a teacher for quite a long time. And then I wanted to open my own performing arts school. And initially, before I set up PQA, I was opening up my own performing arts school with my name, not anyone else's name. Um, but then I was like, oh, why would anyone come to my school? Because there's obviously lots of different schools out there. Um, and then I realised that there wasn't much opportunities for people or children with learning difficulties or special educational needs. So what I was doing initially was setting up a performing arts school for people that had additional needs. Um, and then I heard of BQA because I hadn't heard of it beforehand and then thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I want to do. Um, and then I had an interview. So to answer your question, I think the person that inspired me to pursue a career in performing arts would probably be my secondary school drama teacher. There was two of them. Um, and their names are Mrs. Chamberlain and Miss Unit. And sadly, Miss Unit died very, very young. Um, and actually, I'd just set up PQA the year she died, and um, PQA Warwick performed at her memorial concert. And then the second teacher, Mrs. Chamberlain, she's just retired, um, she lives very close to me, so she knows what I'm doing. Um, so I'd say it's my teachers at secondary school. Um, there was a drama club at my primary school, and then from then on, I really just developed this passion for performing. And I just love being on stage, so. There's a variety of actors I'd say inspired me, but the one that tops the lot, probably Ryan Reynolds. If I was to say someone that inspired me the most, there's a variety, but I have to pick Ryan Reynolds. What or who inspired you to pursue performing arts? Um, in primary school there was um, sort of extra curricular I suppose club and the drama teacher there really inspired me to continue it. So, yeah. um, I think any person that's going or wanting to pursue a career in the world of performing arts needs to be realistic, that's the main thing. Um, some people think that because they go to a private performing arts school that they're going to always have a career in performing arts or always be on the stage or always be on the screen. That's not the case, obviously. Um, I also think people need to decide whether they want to do it as a career or um, as a hobby, something they enjoy. Um, people sometimes say to me, oh, are you a failed actress? That's what a lot of people say and a lot of younger people, like students, and um, I never wanted to be an actress. That was never my ambition. That was never my goal to be an actress. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher, so like literally, like I said before, um, that was my ambition and I've achieved that. Yes, I liked performing in plays, but I wouldn't want to do that as a full-time job. So, um, I think that every single person, for example, that comes here to PQA Stratford, Every single person obviously enjoys performing arts but doesn't necessarily want to go into the same area or pathway. Um, so to answer your question about what is the struggle, there's so many people competing for that one role. That would be my main thing is you need to be realistic, people around you need to be realistic and if you obtain a role within a performance or a film, you obtaining that role is an achievement. Even if, for example, people that went for the audition of Frozen, there have been thousands that went for Elsa. Obviously, only one person got it. Other people would have been in the film, and that's a proud moment for them. So don't 
one thing that I would, would want to say is, when you receive a role, don't go through and count all the lines and say, oh, that's not very good. Everything in a production is good, whether you're the leading person, whether you're in the ensemble, whether you're running the box office, whether you're in charge of music, lights, do you know what I mean? Like, everyone needs to be involved, put that on, and everyone's role and responsibility is unique. Um, I think, because this is like a career that's very kind of like, you don't know, so it's just hard because you're not going to be the main character every time. So it's just learning to deal with that and kind of realizing that sometimes you are just going to be the ensemble, but you still play an important part in like the whole thing. So yeah, I think it's just learning to deal with that. <sighs> Probably the nerves of like doing dancing and stuff. It, Peter has helped me a lot with getting out my comfort zone, but I probably have to say my nerves. Um, for me, I suppose it's confidence. Like, actually, when I first joined PQA, I was quite unsure of myself because um, I was like, I'm actually good enough to do this. So, yeah, confidence in getting up on stage and actually doing the stuff that you've learned and believing in yourself, really. I suppose that's the struggles. So, my end dream. So, I would like for all of you to basically be happy um, and for you all to support each other. Um, the end dream for me, um, obviously like I love, I love my job anyway, um, so apart from the five academies that I have here, Warwick and Banbury, um, there will be a sixth academy, so PQA Stratford will be having an afternoon academy at some point. Um, the date is yet to be confirmed, but that is going to be happening. Um, I also run PQA Barbados, obviously I'm in England, so I don't, I'm don't. i not there all the time, but I go a few times a year, which is obviously good. Um, but one thing that I would say is that I don't teach PQA, even though I absolutely love being the principal, um, I'm obviously also do all the admin, I'm HR for the staff, um, I basically do everything, so I do photocopy and I do literally everything, which is fine, absolutely fine, no problem at all, but I don't teach you guys and that's one thing that I massively, massively, massively miss. So um, I also teach in a secondary school and that only happened, because um, before PQI I used to be a teacher for like 10 years um, and I loved being a teacher. Um, so I've also gone back into teaching just because I, I really miss it. So I taught drama and dance last year at a local secondary school um, and now I'm teaching media at the same school and I work there two days a week um, and I love that. So, and like I said before to you, my ambition was to be a teacher, which is what I did. And then I'm also going to be starting another job uh, I'll start that on Monday, where I'm going to be lecturing at a university as well. So I'll be doing be a principal, teacher and a lecturer. And luckily, all of those jobs combined, if you add them all together, that's basically like a full-time job. Um, but I haven't really got like an end goal because I'm really happy with professional stuff. Um, I'm happy with how everything is. My, my main goal is for you guys to achieve what you want and for us lot, to help you achieve it. That's that's my main goal and that you lot are all happy. That's my main thing. If I had to say I had a dream, it probably in performing arts, sorry, it probably have to be um, being a well known actor that people talk about and know. I will always have a passion for performing and being on stage and it will always be a hobby, but I don't think it will ever be something that I have a career in as of now. My biggest dream is to perform in Les Miserables as Ethany. That's always been like my biggest dream. <laughs> so yeah. So um, obviously I'm slightly older than you guys. Um, so when I was younger, there was not many opportunities at all possible for performing arts, or that I was aware of. Um, because my family, I'm the only person that's into performing arts out of my family, my family are basically squash players. So every single weekend when I was younger, I had to go to a squash club and I absolutely hated it. Don't get me wrong, I had a great childhood, but I'm not really into squash at all. Um, 
so I can play it. Um, so I would say now there's more opportunities for you guys, but also I'd kind of question myself and say, is that because I'm in it now, so I'm in the industry, so I'm aware of the opportunities, whereas um, people maybe, so for example, if someone sat at home now with their family and their family aren't into performing arts, they might not know about PQA. But I'd say also because of the expansion and increasement of technology, people can know more. So when I was younger, oh my gosh, it makes me sound my old. The internet didn't exist. Um, whereas now, you just literally like look on your phone and be like, oh, performing arts schools, Stratford, and we'd come up. Whereas before, you couldn't do that. You'd have to like literally look through the yellow pages. Um, oh my goodness. Um, or it was all word of mouth, or things that your teachers told you at school. And that's one thing that I would say about doing PQA is if I want to spread the word, obviously the social media, which is great, but not everyone's on social media, but also I would say my biggest boundary doing PQA is getting past that school door. So, for example, all the schools in Stratford, I have thousands of leaflets. When I first set up PQA Stratford, not every school would let me Give, give out leaflets to students. And my argument was basically, well, how will children know about these opportunities? Because there could be loads of children, young people are looking for performing arts schools, but if that person doesn't allow me, for example, through the door to give a leaflet and the leaflet be given to them, they might not know about it. to the open day here and um, I just really enjoyed it and I quickly realised that this would be a good place for me to be able to develop my skills and get a lot of opportunities. Um, so yeah, and then I've just uh, been coming. So I like PQA for a few reasons. I liked acting but uh, one of the main ones was sort of being forced to. It, it may sound wrong but I've grown to love PQA and and until I have to leave, I'd like to stay here. Debbie came into um, my school and from the moment I started talking to her, I loved the idea of it. Um, and I really wanted to do drama outside of school as something different. So that's why I joined. <laughs>